Hey my loves, welcome back again to my channel. Today we're going to do our first weekly check-in of the month of September. So if you like content like this, consider subscribing. Hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to love and support on this channel. Join my little YouTube family, it would be greatly appreciated. For those of you that are returning subscribers, you already know. Hey boo, thank you so much for being back. Um, I want to tell you guys, thank you guys so much for the feedback on yesterday's Q&A. You guys are awesome. I really love interacting with y'all. So thank you so much for being back here. You are greatly appreciated. So let's go ahead and jump right in y'all. Alright friends, so I do have the planner on top of the little box that it came in because I use this box to hold all my planner stickers and stuff. So I'm using it so that it's a little closer to the camera. So we're just going to go ahead and jump straight to the month of September. Um, I guess what I should do first though is read all my month's goals. Um, so my goals for this month are five no spend days, work out twice a week, which oops, it didn't happen this week. <laughs> Um, three is research for a new checking account. Um, I really want to get a bank account specifically for bills so that when the hubby gets paid, I can just transfer that money to that account and let that money sit there and not worry about it. That way all the automated bills can just come out of there and I don't have to worry about it. Um, so I definitely need to still do that and then start a new envelope binder, which I have started. Um, I got a few little surprises in store for y'all coming soon. So stay tuned y'all. Um, I covered that up cause that's our income. So basically what I've budgeted for each category throughout the month is right here. So far our rent, I budgeted $16.50 and ended up being $17.50 and 55 cents because we did go over on utilities for some weird reason, which is like water, gas, trash. Um, and they, they make us pay for Wi-Fi through them, which I cannot stand. But okay, so that's what that is. And then my light bill, I budgeted 150. Last month it was 130, but I just got my bill this morning. And so our bill actually for this month that I need to pay this month is 166 and 40 cents. So that does suck. Um, I paid my loan for 106. I wanted to pay more on it, um, but we do have to tackle our um, furniture. So our furniture, I don't know if I had mentioned it to y'all before. So we did get brand new furniture when we moved and this was the starting balance, pretty much almost 4,400. Um, I've only made two payments, but if you could see here, so the balance after my first payment was 4,157, right? I paid 194.64, which is my regular payment, but it only dropped this down to 481. So when, when I called, you know, my dumbass, when I called, they're like, yeah, because you're paying interest so whatever you paid like it it only took off i think like 79 or what is that 41.57 minus 40 81 76 dollars is all that went towards our actual bill so i gotta focus on that big time so anyways i i wanted to pay more on this loan but i was like no we're gonna pay more on the on the furniture with cons so anyways um so this is what the calendar for september looks like just a quick simple nothing too crazy um i actually did have a no spend day yesterday which was awesome so that's why i highlighted it i'm just gonna do highlight in yellow on my no spend day so i'm one out of five that i wanted to complete for this month so i'm starting off kind of good um basically i just wrote down all my bills that i paid y'all know i have these little movie theater movie little what are they called mark movie mark stickers um that's just basically i track when i post a youtube video um and yeah so i normally do a um what's it called stuff my wallet on wednesdays but my husband's check still has not hit the bank for some weird reason sometimes it's there before we wake up sometimes it's not so we just gotta wait for that so um i did do a little bit bad on tracking my expenses I started real good the first two days, fell off, and then um, I just started tracking what a day, day before yesterday, the rest of the stuff that I did spend. So not too bad, nothing too, too shocking and crazy. Um, everything highlighted in yellow is stuff that was purchased that I'm able to pull out of a sinking fund for. So I do not count that as any of my spending because that money 
has basically already been accounted for. So um, I'm just going to quickly add up stuff from each category and I forgot my highlighter. So one second. Okay, friends. Sorry about that. I should have been prepared. But I forgot to do this the last time and I had one of my subscribers comment down below. Um, uh, so for me to start kind of highlighting off because I would always, I ended up skipping stuff. So I just want to go ahead and add stuff from each category. I have bills, grocery, out to eat, spending, hubby spending, and then laundry. Um, and see if we stay within our weekly budget. So we're going to go ahead and start with bills first. And obviously our first bill was $17.50. 55 that was my rent so I'm just gonna mark that off basically telling myself that I added that and then um, my next bill was my Shopify that one was thirty dollars and ninety two cents and do I have any more bills was that it for bills yeah cuz I paid yeah I paid today guarantee loan barely so um and I do go from Wednesday to Wednesday because um that's when my hubby gets paid so that's gonna go in today's guarantee what I spent today is gonna go on for this new week so um I think that's it that's all for bills if hopefully I'm not missing something because I tend to do that I'm so bad about that all right so the damage in bills was 1781 47 all right oops um, so next is going to be grocery. We have one grocery. This was $67.75. Why did I put last week on that one? Okay, so this was last week's money. So, okay, so I'm not counting that for this week because I put right here last week's money. I guess I still had, yeah, I did. I still had grocery rollover from the week before. So I went ahead and used that before I stuffed my wallet. So I'm not counting that. Uh, let's see, the other grocery is gonna be this one right here, another grocery for HEB. So that one is 26. I hope y'all can see this calculator. Can y'all, kind of, yes, 26.18. 26.18 and then this one right here is also grocery. This was on Labor Day, so I did overspend a little bit. Um, this was 124.03, because I just had to get like you know some really good looking steaks for whatever reason. So we went um, 150.21 cents. So we kind of pretty much stayed in budget with with um, grocery, honestly. Uh, Cause I know I remember this whenever with this money I did buy um, I stocked up on meat so I didn't really have to buy meat except for on Labor Day because I wanted steaks and boudin and of course all that stuff. Anyways, out to eat. Let's see the damage on out to eat. Um, our budget for out to eat was fifty dollars and I know we went over. Um, so I just had to do a DoorDash. Oh no, look here. Out this was out to eat not spending. A Chick Fil A for twenty two forty seven. Then we have a DoorDash here for $17.84. No, that is so not right. Wow. Okay, sorry y'all. $17.84. And then it was Chick-fil-A for $22.47. Okay, and then we did a quick McDonald's run because we just needed some a little something to get us by. So it was uh, 7 56 at McDonald's and then Dreamland. That was a family outing. So I used our family time sinking fun for that. That was so fun. Um, if you go on TikTok and look up Dreamland in Austin, in Austin, Texas, you'll see it. It's super fun, super cool place. If y'all are in Texas, I would definitely recommend going there. It was a lot, a lot of fun. It was super hot, but it was a lot of fun. Um, and then we did end up going for pizza that night at Pint House Pizza. It's a brewery slash pizza place. Oh my God, you guys, the pizza was delicious. I That was our first time there and oh my God, worth every freaking penny. Like, oh my God. I got one called um, Honey Pear. It had prosciutto, ricotta cheese, hu uh, honey drizzle, balsamic glaze, um, what else, basil, and caramelized onions and then some thin sliced pears on it. Whoo, your girl could eat a whole large pizza of that one by herself. Anyways, it was bomb. So, and then we did do a Taco Bell run for $18. So, 130 and 50 cents in out to eat. 
we literally went over big time but it's okay we went out like i said um on sunday and we just did like a family day so we just decided to treat ourselves and go and do that um to go to that pizza place all right so spending which is considered my spending um everything that says bb is my my husband that's what i call him <laughs> Okay, so Saturday I went to JCPenney because they I got some towels because they were on sale. So we spent, well, why am I adding that already? $16.74. And then Amazon, I did spend $15.14. And then I spent $31.10 at Hobby Lobby. So that ended up being $62.98. So that's not too bad. Um, that's not too bad. So my spending was 60, so I only went over $2.98 in spending. And let's see, 130, 50 minus 50. We went over 80, 50, and going out to eat. And grocery, we went over 21 cents. So I'm not gonna, I'm actually not gonna add that in there because my grocery was 150. So I'm good on that. Now, the husband's spending, uh, oh, laundry, laundry. I just, I kind of want to start tracking how much I spend on laundry. Sorry, but I am tracking it to see if I need to start going somewhere else to do my laundry because it's getting pricey. So I'm just adding that. That was 1781 on its by itself. So hubby spending was 68.43 at 7-Eleven, and then he did a four dollar and thirty cents on his little game. I don't know if y'all have Facebook and y'all play Coin Master, but he is obsessed with that game. So he spent some money on the little game, um, and then 40.25 he spent at AutoZone. That was actually for um, a tool that he needed to fix my car. If y'all saw my sinking fun video, y'all saw our, our alternator went out on my car. And um, they the alternator was under warranty. Thankfully, I'm so grateful for that. So the, the part was free to get replaced. Um, my husband just had to buy a tool to actually remove the alternator and all that stuff for my car and, and fix it. So I told him I could give him that money out of our car stuff envelope, but he's like, no, just charge it to the game and we're not going to take money out of that envelope because it's finally getting stuff. So I was like, okay, cool. And then um, he did spend $32.45 at the liquor store. So he actually did pretty good too because his budget for his spending is $150. So $145.43. So minus $150. So he went over $4.57. So our spending is not too bad um, off, but it's the out to eat, y'all. It's the out to eat. And if I don't do this, I don't see it and, you know, see how much we are spending when we go. Granted, it was a family day. We normally don't do that. But, I mean, yeah. So we did go over budget this week, $88.05 because of going out to eat. Um, so... Yeah, but I'm proud of myself on my groceries and I'm proud of myself on my spending because I'm still trying to stay within budget. Um, so yes, um, that was just my little weekly check-in so y'all can see what we spent our money on and how staying in budget is going. Y'all know out to eat is a killer for me, so yes. And I am gonna keep this little sheet. I don't know if y'all remember my little A7 binder that I had my cash envelopes in. But I want to still keep that little binder and it did come with these little notepad sheets in it. So I'm going to start keeping this in there so that I can look back and see throughout the month how my spending habit has been. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and spending this time with me. I will catch you guys tomorrow on another video, either tomorrow or Friday, um, as soon as my check the check hits um, the account so I can... Um, get our weekly budget in order so yeah thank you guys so much for watching stay safe you are loved and you matter don't forget that bye